Hi, my name is Joshua and this is a tutorial series about how to use custom payloads components and how to use the components that are built into payload. So which the components that payload itself uses to display data, for example, buttons and views and uh, models and drawers and so on. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up a custom dashboard. We're going to put this in a layout uh, with an A-brow and then put a header on it. So very basic, but we're going to get more complex from now uh, from this video onwards. So what I have here is a very basic payload project uh, that has been set up in the same way that Sandra series um, is setting up payload projects. So if you follow that series along, you can pretty much drop in right here or this video, this tutorial series is going to work with any uh, any payload project that already exists. So uh, this is the basic setup. We have two collections, one for users, one for media. This is not very important right now, but we now have this dashboard that is predefined here and we want to exchange it for our own. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a new folder views. In this, we're going to store our custom views like a dashboard. So we create a custom uh, file for dashboard, dashboard.js. And we're going to create a very, very simple uh, React component in here that simply displays the, view, the word dashboard. In our payload config.ts, we need to go to admin, so here, and add component. In here, we can define that payload is supposed to use our view instead of the built in view in order to show our dashboard. So uh, let's put it in, we need views, and in views we need dashboard, and this is supposed to use our dashboard, let's import it right away, so you can import it directly from views, and save all of that, and look what happens. So if we refresh now, then we see we have our custom dashboard. Now this looks very bad without the padding and so on. So payload luckily provides us with some very useful components that we can use here. Uh, first of all is the gutter. The gutter is a component that lets us use this, uh, as we see here is the space and here is the space. And this also shrinks dynamically um, depending on the size of the screen. And this is a component we can actually use. It's called the gutter. So let's gutter wrap whatever we want to show in our custom dashboard in the gutter and let's import it. Uh, we can import the gutter component from uh, gutter. Our oh, copilot already wants to import it, but that's wrong from payload uh, components elements. If you look in the GitHub of the payload project, then you find actually a lot of components in this elements folder, but not all of the components. So it's important to remember. Let's refresh our page. Oh, this needs a moment. And yes. We now see this padding and this is adaptive also to other screen sizes. The next step is that we want this A brow up top that is shown on other components as well. Like here, dashboard users or dashboard media. We simply wanted to show dashboard there and we can import this as well. This is in the same folder uh, and it's named A brow. So if we put a brow, important, we don't want to put the a brow within the gutter because there it's going to show uh, with another indentation, so it won't display correct. We want to put it outside or next uh, to the gutter. And then we're going to wrap all of this in an empty element. And which after, yes, now we have dashboard here, which we did not type dashboard in. It's just that Abra takes the name of the page and displays it. Um, there's more we can do with the Abra component in more custom pages, but on the dashboard dashboard component, the Abra is simply going to show dashboard. Uh, one last thing is that we can use h1 uh, tags and so on 
that payload already predefines with CSS styles. So if we put uh, these in here and look what is rendered, then we see, yes, this is the same exact style that all the other payload components use. So we simply can use the H1 tags and so on uh, without further ado. So that's it for this video. And in the next video, we're going to talk about buttons that payload comes with.